Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks and feet and preparation combined The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Ryle representing for I Just Star Mindset Rich forever Yeah, it's long Wait there Somebody says something about Jamaican patois and style and fashion. Yes, the Ross, me a search the other day online and buck up on a new, authentic Jamaican clothing brand. Walk one of the latest and newest one in a t shirt, woody, slippers, and woman's bag. And a whole heap of other things I'm mean, not even mention. Search online for more information. Yard slang, hit them with a bang. It was so, you know, it, it, it was like, it, it's like you just feel a way. If you know, so, even in the ancient monasteries, the infiltration, do they? But when it even get to the door, because you know them get presents from all over the place, do they? Well, the monks, them go open up a little place now for come show. Because when you say Jesus Christus, you see a big eye, black image with a big afro. I saw the Ethiopian them painted. You know what I mean? When you say Jesus, it's like you see this long in your hippie from Europe but was commissioned by one by one sees when in the period by Michelangelo you know. And you can see you, it it's like it you see it, you see the old thing of it more when you got it so you know. You see the invasion just blatantly played in front of you, you know. If you know, say, I and I see, you know, the original paint in them, you know. We see the original paint in them, you know. And you can see how oh, it take time and a creeping. You know, the Ethiopian image, a move way, and the, the image. Not like you saw, you know, you know because you know, so everybody down here saw, I just, why Jesus? They yes, don't so, no, it mix up now. You know, it's like, the black man there is still, you know, but it's like it keep. The more them come in, yeah, the more them come in, or the more it white way. You know what I mean? And it's like a trend that I go see. You know, where, where, where you see the thing? You see the other thing, where the thing is, where I have to share, you know, like, the black and the bell and we're going at this temple, you know, this man is true. And this bridge, you know, it's like a tourist business, you know, you know, just like, you know, but there I say, I would say, a tourist come to Jamaica, you know, uh, Hot dog and hamburger and things. He want hockey and saltfish. Because Jamaica, he don't want to taste a piece of Jamaica. He don't want your game now. No, no, he don't want America. Well, when we go there now, we see, say, well, boy, right now, they must supply the tourists now with a thing. So here with them now, we go to this monastery and this monk there, they know, and they must pray, and they must pray, and it's part of the whole tourist thing, you know. Mm. Well, we look. We see the man have... Mary and a little youth now and white Mary and a little picnic, you know, and on the one side is a big picture of Michelangelo friend, uncle, where my mother is now. So and then they have a big curtain between the two things them, you know. We don't know where they're behind the curtain them, but we find go to find out where they're behind the curtain them because when I and I say no So we there, oh 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 this, we don't understand this because we know tell us the Ethiopian and them paint it and the brother interpret it and go tell the monk no. The monk go behind the curtain rasta. Right and take out the original painting and bring come lead up in front of the white Jesus. <laughs> we say, happy your fire bond. <laughs> we are telling you the shit. The man bring out the white Jesus, the man bring out the, the original painting and put it in front of it. And then I say, wait. So it means that's the man in a tourism business that are uh, that now. Then put that aside. Then put that aside now just to come and peace no, tourism nobody. business. For death. We don't know why I offend nobody now in them little levels now. They bring out that and they might be the original thing there. Because when you look behind the curtain, you know, Rasta, appear some ancient painting and some stick and some crown and all them something there. You see behind the you know, Rasta, and it's like them just hide that for us. Set that in front of the people them, but it's for the open out of that search for you down there. Yeah, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church is the perpetuator of these things down there. It's like, you know, them control the people, them. The people, them, is very religious. Everybody pass a church, them kiss it. 
You know, you see the people, them, them walk past the church, them kiss the church, them bow down and kiss the wall. You see people that stand up in front of the wall and I pray and all that stuff. I mean, I never said nothing like that in my life. I mean, I see, see the Muslim them in a different part of Africa where them do after certain or where them bow down. Mm. But this is like a constant thing with the people them. Them so religious. Them so into the church that you find hundreds of people just gather around the church and just stand up in front of the wall, you know, just a, just a mumble and a pray. You know, like, one of the time, you know, me see a man stand up in front of one of the man is to the man. But he says that door open and the man look inside. When we go there, it's a wall, you know, and the man stand up in front of the wall and attack, you know, and a mumble and a pray, you know. And when them done, them kiss the wall and kiss the church and kiss the step and very religious people, them. Very religious. That's why the church can control them, so, yeah. and manipulate them. You know, see, anything the church do and say, the church, the church invoke a certain level of thinking and attitude in other people, them, and it bind them. That certain move where Eilis Selassie make, for even land reform, I and I realize, say, uh, the church own most of the land. Mm -hmm. And to the church own most of the land now, it's like, when Eilis Selassie decides, they're about to take away the land from certain church lords and put it in the hands of the people them. Them was adamant against Eilis Lassie. So when them go, they go collect all them, them money and them, them, them this and them that from the people them now. And to Eilis, to the place so remote, see? That when Eilis Lassie gives certain orders to do certain things, you know, they look a monk, the man, they look a Ethiopian Orthodox man, them now, them just decide to them go against the wishes of his majesty, you know. You know, see, and make it look like, say, His Majesty never do no land reform, but His Majesty did don't give out the land reform thinking already to the people them, you know. And because the church buying up the people them so much. Because the church conspire against Eilis Selassie too, you know. Yeah, the church conspire against Eilis Selassie, and it may sound like a very anti-church thing right now, you know, but religion they have no part to play in a human development and pursuit of everlasting life, you know, because religion, you know what them create religion? Religion, and we have said this blatantly and plainly, and we not talk for nobody, we are talk for Muta Baruka, you know, it's a religion. Religion was created by some insecure men to oppress women. And so it's a religion, you know. Religion was created by insecure men to suppress the fullness that women have in creation that when I and I stand up and see the revelation of women in our earth from them time that from the beginning of creation till now these guys come manipulate the whole historical consciousness and thinking and the minds and mentality of people and put man in such a position now that everything every religion every religion barring none oppress woman every religion whether it's Buddhism, Muslim, Christian, all of them Rasta have something against women in there. And really and truly, the eyes of women in the consciousness of Ethiopia and even human development, even from the beginning of creation, we need for what? We need for look into them levels there. Right? We need to look into them levels there because there's some serious, serious oppression. Religion oppress. Truth, you know. Religion have no truth tonight, you know. Now tell you, you're ashamed. But you see, to me, still, religion is a way of life, you know. And you see, if you ever check it from that level there, then every man would have, to have a different religion. Because every man would have a different way of life. Because every man born in a different time, different yeah. circumstance. Are you saying, Mr. Religion? You know, Mr. Religion, maybe religion the, the, the term religion we are using is so broad, you see? Because to I, Rastafari is more like an everyday living, you know? Yeah. Religion to me is like Ethiopian Orthodox Church religion, Roman Catholic, Anglican, the Christian religion. See? They are Muslim. No a man might say, no, yes. Defend out the faith. I just like to defend out the faith. Yeah, we defend the faith also, you know. But within the creation, all men, all men manipulate the earth yeah, right now. To use, the, 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 one of the main things that oppress women is religion. Religion 
yeah. don't show the true potential and reality of how black woman especially used to you used to run earth used to move in the earth when you check when you check ethiopian history when you check egyptian history and you see the contribution that woman play in you know, the development of mankind and human the human species you don't see that in a religion yeah. you know say so you have woman you, you have man in the earth we never see a woman yet Never see a woman yet. We go to Ethiopia to find that out. And we know so you have all the Himalayas and all these monks places in, in the temples in China and all these places. You have men who never see a woman yet. They don't know what a woman look like. Now you may ask how oh, that? When these men is born from their mother at a certain Muslim, you don't remember how much weeks old them is. They are given over to the monastery, to the monk to grow up in a certain way, in a certain, the service, in, yeah, to the service, yeah, to certain priesthood. So them don't, them, the, the, to his pure man in that priesthood, eh, them grow up till all a hundred year old. They never see a woman yet. Never, never see a woman yet. You know see? Mm -hmm. Yet still we know, say, within the realms of consciousness and thinking, you must did have a woman for the, the female and the male rasta. You must did have that within the consciousness of the creator. You must did have the male and the female. I listen is the only emperor who crown with an empress. Same time. So something must deny it. Something must deny it rather that I listen last could have sit down with the empress. For the same day and get crown menin, princess empress menin. Princess Taito, Empress Taito is one of the strongest Ethiopian queen to move in Ethiopia because she instigate the battle of Adawa, you know. Princess, when, when, when Menelik, them, the, 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 the guys, them, the Italian, them choose a day when them know, say, Menelik now go fight, you know, which them says, when them call him St. George, dear. Right, them choose a day because them say, him, him, him say them know, say, I'm going to pray and all them things there. It's Taito. Get up and take out 20,000 troops, they must say, watch a man. We are going to get those Italian guys out of here, you know. We're not nah sit down, you know, see. And she instigates and through fear, motivation, the other races them follow that. And then the war start. But um, Princess Taito, um, Taito is the person who named Addis Ababa, the new flower. She named that city, the new flower. Not to mention Makeda. Queen of Saba, and she Queen of Sheba. She is the link with the Jesus Christus, where I and I come truly say now is Emperor Ilis Lassie the first, King of Kings. That link, that 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 womb, that perpetual womb that sent the 225th king to I and I years from now. That I and I could come now and say, heal the power of the Holy Trinity, the light of the world. It was the Queen of Sheba. They will have Miriam and Mary, who them say is the mother of God. That some men pray and say, Holy Mary, mother of God. Mary, that, that womb that bring forth the new covenant, Jesus Christus, that I and I could come now and heal and say, Truly, he is the Savior of the world. This Christ that is now manifested himself in the person of Eilis Lassie. So, then we never talk about Egypt with ISIS and all these great things that took place in Egypt, yes or no. So we are come back now to the reason and we are saying, yeah, these people create something against his majesty. That it look like say his majesty never did that do certain things for the rural, the people them in the the the, 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 the the parts of Ethiopia. That you go a certain part of Ethiopia, you know, see no tree. You see no panel some more. Now when you look as far as you guys, you know see no tree, you know see no bird, you know see no house, you know see nothing. Just land, like the beginning of creation. You know see? I and I venture up into a place there. May I tell you the place is is, is like a thing. I and I go in a place, them call it. The, 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 the man tell I said when Eilis Lassie went and pray during the, the, the battle, during the um 
the, the, the Ethiopian, the Italian invasion, his majesty went into this monastery and prayer. And I and I did have to take donkey. Donkey. Go up the Rasta. When you travel that the place there, the place is like no, no, no. The, 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 them say, them say, them say, Blue Mountain Peak. The, how, much, how much Blue Mountain Peak is? Seven thousand. Blue Mountain Peak is seven thousand. I add feet. Seven thousand. Yeah, it's seven thousand. I add feet. I. Well, this a place where I and I go. It's ten thousand. I add feet. You hear me? I say, when I and I go up there, you know, you have to breathe like donkey. <laughs> You be the place I like, the print. You, 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 you travel upon all the donkey and you look down there so you, me, me I have a spin. Come here and say, boy, any other donkey they never sleep. Me start one day for insurance, pee up and if no if, if the pick they never had right and you understand? Which the last food that me eat and all empty the car when me look down there so I miss them donkey. Sometimes the donkey are a pure stone and go up there in a chain. And I and I travel, I will tell you that I will Andrea, 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 go on, good. <laughs> Andrea, go on, good up there, you know. You travel 10,000 feet above sea level to this monastery where it's carved out of pure stone. In a lalibella, them say, His Majesty went there and prayed during the Muslim war. And just to, just to feel, just, just that, car. the man up there said, never see Rasta yet. We uh, don't know Rasta, and uh, the first thing is Rasta, and some of them believe that Jamaica is on the west coast of Africa, you know. Some of them think that they are America. And then I go up to this monastery that is carved out of pure stone where them say, it's last he went and prayed Rasta. And I tell you, the feeling of just being dear, just being dear Rasta, you know, the 10,000 feet above sea level, where you stand up up there, it looks like the beginning of creation. And it's two people up there inhabit the place. A woman and a man, the monk. And then I talk to him. I enjoy the sit down and I read with him. I ask him about Hilas and I say, I know everybody where I talk to, you know. It's first thing I ask them, you know. I class I ask them about you know, it all everything you know, and I tap somebody you know. So what do you think about Hilas Lassie? So which part you, you see the monk, the lady, I don't know much how old she is. She looked way down, maybe I don't know, seventy or eighty or year old. She said 30 years, she up not at the mountain there. 30 years she up there. And the man up there and all them, them get food. People around the area give them food and anybody will come up there like we know that give them something. But we asked him about his majesty. He said, when his majesty was there, everything was good. Everything was nice. There was a lot of food. Everything was all right. And Andreas looked at him and said, so when thing about now, what do you think will happen in the future? The man said, no business about no future. And no, we might deal with, no. He no, he not have no future, because his majesty, when his majesty was there, everything was all right. But right now, I'm just a live for now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm no, He no know nothing about no future, because I hope there's no future, no dead, and no past, and no, I just dead and know. When you're up there, so you know that's that. 10,000 feet up there, you know. Not even a donkey. Na, the man, them stop the donkey down the bottom of the hill until I, and the and I said, well, all right, no, I guess the donkey, them are going now. No, you have to go walk the rest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You go up there. His Majesty went up there to pray. That is the place where I and I are talking about Eilis Lassie, and just out of the clear blue, we hear the man say, I listen Lassie, Jesus Christus. I listen Lassie, Jesus Christus. And we say, look at that. He no know I and I philosophy. He no know what I and I is about. As far as him concerned, we just some next tourists. We we'll take the venture, come up there. And him just here and I just I say I listen Lassie. And him just say I listen Lassie, Jesus Christus. Yeah man. This is a place near Lalibella. One of the the, 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 the seven wonders of the world, the, the, third, the churches, the monasteries, and it does to be into that monastery, Rasta, when the man tell her and I said, this is where his majesty came and prayer. Without a doubt, man. God, that, and that is not the oldest monastery neither. Guy and I here have a monastery nowhere. It's a rope you have to take go up, it's up. 
Let me say 100 monk up there. You have to take rope, go up there, so where, where woman, them not allow woman for go there, so. Certain of the churches, them now, them not even allow woman for go in the need, you know. Certain places, them not allow woman for go. You see, so it's the next thing again now against the, 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 the female of the species. But in Lalibela, which is to me, is the most, to I, it's striker more than everywhere else where I go. It's like it carry you right back into history. It's like you go forward into history. It's like, just like how you picture the days of Christ, the days of Moses and them things there, are the same exact way it look. When you go into the market, Rasta, you know the market of Lalibela, you, you, it's not the 21st, 20th century, you know. Not the 20th century, Rasta, it's the way down, you know, 2000 BC or 1000 BC. And this out there. This is where them said the drought was. Because it's really a barren land. Mm -hmm. When the sun takes you down, there's no cover, no, no big tree, no, there are them places there. I just land. And land and more land and the, the dirt just red and it looked like it looked like Alcan. And it just land and as far as the eye can see, it's just land. But you know, say I and I have a question the people them. And we ask the people them many questions. I will go and play just a little gyms. I wish some of the people them tell I and I. Just a little gyms I wish some of the people them tell I and I about what them feel about his majesty and certain other things. Ethiopia need I and I, my brethren and sister. Ethiopia need I and I. Because it's we have to go there, go make it what it's supposed to be. Without a doubt. That is why his majesty did look out for the black people them in the West so much. That to me, if you go as far as give them a piece of land named Shashamani, that it could have been a model to the Ethiopian people, that are people from afar are going to come and make this a model land. So we're going to come tell you what we feel about Shashamani and the people them who we feel say should have do better than where we see there, but it come like nothing is happening there. Brothers and sisters, this is Charlie. Join us with respect for our national anthem. Let us stand and defend this one. Peace and love. Thank you. of this cutting edge program. Yeah, we are saying now, you know, we, we, we go a Bahada, we go a Lalibela, we go a Axum. Now, for those of you who don't know, Axum is the ancient, the ancient city in Ethiopia now. This is where, this is where the, the queen of Saba, as referred to in Kings, that this woman went and visited Salaman. And it is written in the Kebra Negas. And we want to give thanks to that Kingston Publishers has now brought out the Kebra Negas, the translation of the Kebra Negas. 
Yes, the book is now out. And we have to tell the people them this because this book is the book that most of what I, I and I historically have been saying to the people. This is the book of all books in Ethiopia, the glory of the kings, the Kebra Negas. And this book was translated by a virgin named Miguel Brooks, and we hear that Miguel did have him from the program here, so. So we want the people them who, who don't understand what the Rastamana say historically, and who don't, who feel like so we just trump up certain things, we want you to get a copy of this book and name the Kebra Negas, a modern translation of the Kebra Negas. See? And then you will see, it, 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 it will get kind of clearer to you when I and I talk about, when we talk about the divinity of the Emperor of Ethiopia. No. Akzum, which is Yeha, them say it, it didn't name Yeha before it named Akzum, and this place now is the place where the queen was, this queen, this, this queen that visited Salaman. She, this is, this is where she was, this is, the, this is the capital now of all the places now where we say, when our next marvel now, this is our next marvel where we say, Queen Makeda, swimming pool that when we see it we believe so it was just a water place where people go catch water the man say and over there is Queen Makeda's swimming pool carved out of what? pure rock if you see the man they are around for chisel rock <laughs> you see it? Ethiopia they are around for chisel rock you know, the rock could have tough like I had no. them find something and chisel that out and make it into what they want it to be made out of so you see when when the Queen Get down all for your people, the man say, watch out, we want a swimming pool, and we don't know cement. You know, see, we don't know when you have cement, and we don't want it leak. <laughs> she just get guys for chisel that out of pure rock, bigger than stadium pool. So the advancement of Egyptian technology then... Ethiopian, Ethiopian technology. Yeah. yeah, man, because when you look at the thing, man, it look like, it look like Monadam, you know. It's a little version of Monadam. But it have the water a spring from underneath it so it's like in the them days they did full now it, it low you know see it but i guess when rain come the the, the, the height of it rise mm. bigger than stadium pool when you see it man now you say this is the woman swimming pool rasta this is where she used to go when she wanted to have fun salaman pool can big like that i ah, hear about about salaman queen of seba was was much richer. The amount of things where she carried on with Salaman. Salaman eyes has never behold such things. This Ethiopian woman, Salaman eyes has never behold such things. The things where she built in Ethiopia. You hear about Salaman a built temple to God. Temple to God where him built could have never surpassed what we see in Alalebela. Do you see it? But this woman, great, great queen, she went there and she get pregnant. I don't know if I tell the story now because whole people are supposed to know that the story by now. But if you want to know the story, read the Kebra Negas. It was said that Makeda went to visit Salaman because she heard about him wisdom. And when she go up there, Salaman start falling in love with her and being a womanizer with her because he did have 1,000 wife and 300 chunky by him. He said, well, all right, no more. Add this one to him in, in, in business. And he said to her, watch a man. Well, I love you, you know, I'm gonna love grass, go sleep with you, and she say, no, sir, you know, you know, levels are levels are levels. But Salaman now, you know, say, he must think up all sorts of things for this woman, you know, if go get this woman and I'm in bed. He say, watch you now. I, Gwengo, tell you something now. Don't trouble nothing in my house. She look on the man, she say, what we there? You have anything where me want? You don't have nothing where me want, Rasta. Them things, where you have me a thousand folds of those things. If you have camel, me have many camels, gold and myrrh and frankincense. As a matter of fact, we go, we go, we go to Ethiopia, we go see frankincense and myrrh are selling a market like trouble. Big rocks and chunks of frankincense and myrrh. You know what I mean? She said, sure. A joke you make, man. We don't, we don't want nothing. They say, all right, all right, look here, man. Just don't trouble nothing in my house. So the night, them give a big feast. And salt it up now. Because you know, I tell brother Nira, you know, Salaman, you know. Mm -hmm. Them salt up the food and not, not there for drink. And being the guy who is now, him just 
put some water beside her bed. And when she asleep now, she get up in the night, thirsty. And she just decides why well, she wants some water. And I she have a touch of water and just come in there and say, watch your man. I don't tell you, don't trouble nothing in my house. So you say, no, nah, trouble nothing in my house. See, there you trouble me water. And she look at him and say, but this is just water. And he said, what is more precious than water under the sun? And at this hour, he get her pregnant. Yeah. And she get a son named Menelik. Menelik. The first. And he saw the lineage now of the Solomon and Sheba dynasty start. To come right down to certain kings where at a one time it take a break to. Yeah, to them call it the Zagwe dynasty, dynasty where it, it a come down, come down, and a guy just like him want to twist it and chip it round. And one of the king, I think is a one king named Hamlak, him just bring it forward yeah. into perspective. Now I said, No, we can't allow this thing here, you know, because this is the new Jerusalem, you know. Everything we do over there, so uh, that the whole time something, you know. Yes, yeah, yes, so we are dealing with now in Ethiopia. Anyway, we visit the spot where the Queen of Seba palace was. The man I show we all our bathroom, our bathroom, the setup and all the water he was around and our different bedroom and I think what's your name there? Did do an interview with him, Andrea. Meanwhile him a walk and thing and him show with that and thing and the Ark of the Covenant now we say yes boy, you know, we have to go see how we can figure this thing out now, you know, because this is the place of all places, you know. This is the place where boy is right about we will play a tape on this program already where a guy Right, said the Ark of the Covenant, him traced the Ark of the Covenant to Ethiopia. But him claims that some white people carry the Ark there. He called himself the Knights Templar. When the Ethiopian issue say it's many lake. And some priests carry the Ark, go place it there. So, and the man him sure and I say, I listen to the wife, build a little room, specially for the Ark, and put it in that place. And it's one man guard that Ark. And when the man did, the man is brought up. To guard the ark, you know. The only thing him doing film life is guard the ark. Him don't do nothing else. Him stay in there for all him life and guard the ark. And when him dead, a next man rise up and guard the ark. But we don't see the ark. We don't see the ark. We all we could only stand up at the door, at the gates. That even the door because it's a gate. We did a gate. We did a next gate. We did a church. You know see? Because when you look over there. It's like you see a big gate, and then you see a next, you see a big fence, then you see a next wall with, with high and thing, and then you see a next wall again, and then within that, you see the church, and then says in this right there, the Ark of the Covenant in Hagzum. One of the people them remember that name, you know, very important name in the history of, oh, the revelation of Christ by manifest itself, not in Palestine, not in the so-called Jerusalem, but in Ethiopia. Because the Israelite, they used to say, anywhere the ark is, represent the presence of the Almighty. And God was so upset with the Israelite them, that he scattered them all over the four corners of the world, and founded Mount Zion in the new Jerusalem, which is now presently, we are saying that Ethiopia is the new Jerusalem. That is what we are saying. That is what the Bible show and I, the city of the great king. Who is this great king? Emperor Eilis Lassie, the first is not we call him so because him born Lich Tafari, you know. You know what Tafari mean? Tafari mean one who is to be feared. Tafari, one who is to be feared. And him grew up and become Eilis Lassie, meaning the power of the Holy Trinity, with him titled King of Kings of Ethiopia, conquering lion in the tribe of Judah, elect of God. This is titles written in the pages of Ethiopian history, you know. Elect of God and light, light of the universe. Mm. And a Rasta man said that, you know. Written document. It is documented. Hear the man title, you know, Rasta. Hear the man title. Emperor Eilis Lassie, the first 
king of kings, conquering lion of Judah, elect of God, light of the universe. Is not we say that you know? But you have a little radio program where you used to come on to, you know, the Luther and Hour. Yes. A little, some little white people put that program there together. Yes. A religious program. Yeah. And in another program, they did, them did a feature, I listened to that, and them did give the title. They win them a crown, man. They don't have no play tape. Some of them hear them and say, Hosanna, Hosanna, all heal to the Emperor of Ethiopia, King of Kings, Conquering Line of Judah, Elect of God, Light of the Universe. <laughs> I know I know I said that. You know see? So no, because the ark moved into Axum, and because God did not find favor in Israel anymore, because he said, even Ethiopian, which is the same say, is part of the Garden of Eden, and him go back and tell them, say, are you not like the Ethiopians to me, children of Israel? What that mean? That mean him tell them, say, what you know, you see Ethiopia, you come like them to me, you know. Simple. But me says Ethiopians, the first people him recognized was the Ethiopians. And him say, are you not like the Ethiopians to me, children of Israel? You know what I see? Because even him go back and say, you know, can a leopard change him spot? Can a Ethiopian change him color? Why would God have talked about the color of the Ethiopians? Because it's a different color they have. Just like the spot on the leper, them. Can't change. Can't change them scholar. You know see it? So, within the recognition of Ethiopia, it did done place in the annals of history. Say, it's this thing that happened already. And when you go to Axum, and you see the whole thing unfold in front of you, and you see, say, truly, this place here, need creators now to create that that climate to usher in what revelation one tell you say that this man here was white as wool and his feet was like burning brass you know see it? and then go back and show his hand and his verse was written a name king of kings and they that are with him are called faithful and true it's Jesus Christus that that about, you know. Mm -hmm. The second coming of Jesus Christus, you know. So now, I let Lassie come and sit down for the throne and fulfill that now. So oh yeah, where you gonna look for now? What you gonna look for now? More than say, is Amagidian and him shall come now, terrible and dreadful. You know see, when the revelation leaked them now, they're gonna realize about we it. Oh, them say this young man you're dead, and him so whole and look so raggy raggy and dread. Many one is after Christ, it goes still is many one didn't believe for him after him. After him dead, them say that. You know, see, after Jesus Christus gone, them come claim now, say truly this man is the son of God. And say man and not God. And yeah. Christ, walk, on walk on the earth. Flesh. So what I'm to all those things now where the Rasta man say. From those time until now, where every man a mock and jeer, and him now come and do it. Well, I'm to all the time them when everybody a mock dreadlocks, and mock it. And we take up Vogue magazine, and we take up this magazine, and that the magazine, and I see dreadlocks is a fashion. All Batman a lock cemento. So, well, I'm to all those time when these same guys was mocking I and I through his dongle business. Who come from the dungle eat where the rat and the filth and the pig swallow, swallow, swallow. And the whole rubber tire did a bun and the candles can did a this and the that and the that. What happened to these same old natty head black heart man? We're going to take away your picture and carry him go to work and he's going to yam out him heart and burn him up. And what did that take? Wax and I put in them head. What happened now? When every man now start locks. What happened to that now? What happened to the man now who used to lick and say, you have know, too much color low. And you have know, no salt. You're going to drop down and dead. You're weak like what? What happened to the man now where I run up and down Mona Dam every morning? Say so my job because I want to keep slim and I want a vegetarian diet. 
It's going to dead on the diet. You know, see? With the Rasta man that's true, and go through a little Hindi and can come now from India with him yoga and him yogi and all these things now. Come show me the same thing with the Rasta man that's true for how much years now. Come show him these things now. Him come claim, him, him find a new thing. Him find the vegetarian way. The and the Rasta man, he done and yam the color law, and he yam the puzzle, and he yam the, the, the yam and the coke and the dashim, and all this, and the, the, the bad heart and all them things for a long time, and the, and the cassava um, um, leaf and all them something there, where he used to go. In you so look on the Rasta man like for the Rasta man and know where my door. So when the Rasta man tell him, say, Watch out now. God real. Just like me and you. He said, Oh, oh, you can't turn a man into God. We never turn a man into God. He was God before him is man. He just manifests himself in that person. The word take unto itself flesh and dwell amongst men. First John tell you that. The spirit. Abja manifests itself in man. But even the man say, men and virgin, look on this now. Any man that confesses eh, that Jesus Christus has come in the flesh is of God. But any man that say that he never manifests himself in the flesh is not of God. These people are antichrists and most of them they are the world up to this day. So if you can accept Jesus Christus in the flesh, 2,000 years ago. You will never accept him, no. And even if you accept him then, how oh, are you going to know the revelation of him now? Because of certain things that is going to unfold in front of you. So um, I and I rang to go say, one man rise up with all of these titles, all of these attributes. One man rise up in a hurt with all of these things, facing the people them. That even the people of Ethiopia can say truly, this man is Jesus Christus. And though me, no one fool, you know, the bully of people in Ethiopia believe that to them heart. The bully of people in Ethiopia believe that. And on a little far-fetched thing, because the amount of things where Isla Slassi do for Ethiopia, no other emperor, you the man tell you and I say, Isla Slassi take. Ethiopia out of what you call medieval thinking and educate the minds and the masses of the people that even the Bible where the Ethiopian Orthodox Church are used where the people them can't even read where them call it Giz they have a language with the name Giz where they used to use it at the Coptic Church where the Bible written in Giz, that is only the priests and the monks them know what in the Bible, you know, the people them don't know where them are, they come like when, when you used to go to Roman Catholic Church and them attack Latin, you know, and you don't know where them are saying, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why I mean, you know, see the difference between them, the church, the, and them, Rome church, whether they, you know, because them attack one language to the people them, where the people them don't understand what is happening. And you know where Ailes Lassie command, though? Ailes Lassie command, translate that and cause a new version of the Bible to be translated in the language of the people. You know, a long time I know you tell the people that. Yeah. I just like to say, we in Ethiopia have one of the oldest versions of the Bible, but no matter how old the version, in whatever language it may be written, the meaning remain the same. That is why it cause a new translation to be translated so that the Ethiopian people can truly understand what only the monk and the priest them they know about. And that is the revelation of Jesus Christus. And I and I move it one step further. I and I say, truly, the revelation of Jesus Christus is truly the person of Eilis Lassie. No, it's madness. To a whole heap one. Why and I go to Ethiopia now? Go I, I reaffirm our idea and understanding is because I and I see say it's no lie them tell I and I here and what your eyes see and what your feet walk and what your flesh touch is a different thing. You know see it? So which guy got to come and tell I and I say we don't have no foundation? Because I know say I don't need no psycho. I don't need to go a psychiatrist. I feel say I have a little sense 
I feel say I can rationalize and reason out certain things rationally. And I feel say I have enough sense can put one and one together and get two. I know say if you check my IQ, I may pass it. Two, not maybe not with flying colors, but I may pass it. And I can I can read the newspaper. And I can read the Bible. You know what I mean? So when I and I come now and say this Rastafari thing and mothers jeer, mothers run out and pick me out the house. And them now, she said them are fulfill the same thing we say. When you start to take up the child, your mother and your father shall forsake you. Then all oh, them are read the same thing in the Bible and do the same thing with the Bible say them are going to do. Yeah, and then now realize that it's a fulfill upon them. Because when you go in your, your, your yard you say you go to church, you know. Your mother love that, you know, your father love that, you know. That was a matter of fact, the girl coat and tie for weird to you know. Yeah, but go talk about it, you're going to turn Rasta. But still I see, still I see. Miss Doc, you know, so you could have educated a little more, you know. And them know, say, you know, do nothing different, you know. You just I go and you do your work, so, you know, but you just have this so concept. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you just say, boy, well, right now, eat you up, you know, say, It's the wickedest thing you can do to any parents in Jamaica. The wickedest thing you can do to your parents in Jamaica is go say you are Rasta. And Rasta is not the wickedest thing in Jamaica. Funny. Because right now, the church has sealed the people. What has the church done? To motivate and to give the youth them in Jamaica hope that they can stand and say, yes, life is worthwhile living. What has the church done to the youth them in Jamaica? Every time Rasta inspired the people to a greater height of uh, understanding and reasoning, the church take credit for it. Yes. But you see, no, them not. Them can't take credit for From a born, I'm a know myself. Aija, done destined for greatness. No call me no dark, car trust me, boy, you know, afraid this. The 225th already established and I elevate this. The conquering lion is the highest and the greatest. So I couldn't give a fuck who want to underestimate this. Pardon my French, I'm just speaking it clearly so you can understand this. Too many crime, too many injustice. And the political arena full of puppet and too more cutlass. The whole of them a thief and just a bunch of hypocrite. Rude boy around the turf and them not afraid for empty them clip. Bullet in a face and them not aim to no hip. And the reality of that is both box and casket. Crime rate hit the roof, what's the solution to curve it? Poverty upon the rise just like a damn pandemic. I can go on and on, me not stop, me not quit. Who no should make me pull out the bounty hunter at least? Because the whole of the name them are the thief in one them upon the pulpit. Lightning and thunder, not even Jesus Christ can stop this. My day upon the scene and now bad energy get a lick. Goodwill, overstanding, tolerance, the king self a practice. Nothing but absolute African traditional culture. The mindset are uplift. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mindset. <laughs>